Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and today I'm trying out Soul Saga, an infinite shooter. And I've actually already done one run through this. I originally got this with a bunch of other games on the summer sale because I have no willpower. Uh, so I know a little bit about the game, but not a great deal. So we're going to be diving in straight into it. Now, I only have one character unlocked, and I don't have enough money for this next one. So, uh, night it is. And we're going to do survival because that's how I do. Now, I did clear Chaos Level 1. Uh, which is the basic difficulty. Now, obviously, as you can see, I didn't do so good in Chaos Level 2. So we're going to go back to Level 1 real quick, just so I can show you guys the first impressions uh, as best I can. Now, the starting weapon is the sword, which is fine horizontally and not so amazing in any other direction. Because uh, if they're approaching from below you, it's not a very reliable weapon. Okay, now I don't know most of these weapons. I know I've used the Zez Blaster before, uh, but the rest of these I have no idea. So I'm going to primarily be picking weapons that I have not used before. So I'm going to take NLF's Pillar, I think is how you say that. Knockback enemy on hit. Now, all weapons are broken into one of four categories. And this took me forever to figure out. So there's regular weapons, which are like the sword, so they're just going to do their own thing. There are secret weapons, which only trigger when you dodge, because this game has a dodge. There's magic, which you have to charge up to use. Then there's relics, which are all passive. Um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's, uh, let's upgrade our our magic and. Uh, That is weirdly adorable. <laughs> he wasn't expecting the fire to look like a cat. So, and then with gold, uh, gold has many purposes. Not only can you power up stuff in the run, but it will also be the thing that you can use in order to power up once you're back on the main menu. So, this time I'm going to pick Thunder Zaps. I don't think I've used that one yet. You a lot of elemental weapons this go around. So, there's more to it than just killing guys, because there's a limited map, it doesn't loop, and you don't wrap around. And what ends up happening instead are there's a collection of different shrines around the map, and we'll get to that here in just a second. I'll try to clear these guys out. That stops guys who try to approach me directly, at least. That's pretty good. It takes time for your stamina and your magic to recover, so you can't dodge and cast magic infinitely. And there's also a cast time on magic, like you see there. So honestly, I think it's a pretty good uh, way of balancing the weapons and making them all very distinct, at least in the way that you're relating to them. Uh, Heavy Thorn. This has to be a secret one. I haven't tried that one. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I forgot what the last one I got was, but it wasn't that one, and I think I like this one more. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kite these guys a little because I want to try to find where the shrines are. This is a pretty good combo of weapons. This, this works pretty good. Honestly, the, the sword is not great. It gets better when it levels up, but like right now, it, it, it's pretty mediocre. Why are you guys exploding like that? Oh, it's, light, it's the lightning. Okay, I'm softening them up with the sword, and the lightning is destroying them. Oh, we'll just power up the sword. Maybe if I... No, that, that's... That's better. Kind of popping these guys in one go now. That's not so bad. Yeah, I got a bunch of games for the summer sale. And uh, you guys will see some of them. So that, that should be fun. I even picked up uh, Digimon Survive at long last. And I've been playing through that on my own time. And if you guys want to see a, a full playthrough of that, let me know. I'd be curious. Because it's more of a visual novel. It's not like Cyber Sleuth. Very different kind of experience. You know, there's barrels like this all over the place. You can find gold and such, and there are shrines. And the shrines basically have two major currencies that I've seen. Uh, is that you either have to pay gold, or you have to have enough uh, knockouts in terms of enemies. So you can see down there, our kilometer is filling up as we destroy monsters. And as you... I think it starts with all the shrines sharing the same amount, and then each one you unlock requires more. And I don't have 100 gold yet, so we should probably try to find one of the... Uh, Knockout Shrines instead. I 
And I don't want to really become the vampire survivor infinite shoot guy, but I love these games so much. <laughs> Whoa, that's a new thing. Do I attack you? Why, why am I... Oh, it's a cat that drops some money. I can't say I was expecting that. Okay, so, so hitting it makes it drop a few coins. Okay. That's, that seems fair. Do, do I get, like, a lot of money if I do it a lot? That'd be pretty cool. I don't remember seeing this thing before. Ah, there's a kill shrine. So this will give us some kind of power-up. Uh, of greed, increased area of pulling, completely heals you. I don't really need to be healed right now. Though, 400 gold would take me a long way. I'm gonna take the Ear of Greed. Um, at this point, this early in the match, it might be better to have something like that. I wish I had more for, uh, vertical attacks. Magic tends to be really powerful, though, so that, like, there, there is kind of a, a good trade-off. Oh, more pull range. Okay. Cool. Cool. Hero move speed. Real easy's glove. Buying five light balls from each finger. You need a ball from each finger or five from each? That would be very different. Let's give this a try. Oh, okay, it's like it's it's five shots. So it's one from each finger. That's kind of bad wording. I have this broom thing following me around. That's cool. Do I get to keep that forever? I don't remember seeing something like that before. I know there's some power-ups, so you get like an icon over your character, and eventually they will wear down over time. So I don't know if this is one of those things or not. What was that? What did I just pick up? Uh oh. Yeah, infinite shooters do love their encircling spawns. Ring of aerobics, sonic blade. Yeah, let's try the sonic blade. I just, nope, I can't dodge through it. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was really dumb. like two pips for magic, jeez. Yeah, the, the way the dodge thing works, the secret weapon launches in the direction you're dodging away from. So if you dodge to the left, it goes to the right. Well, that's pretty decent damage. Okay, can, okay, those things are temporary, good. I, I couldn't remember if you had to destroy them or not. I mean, this is only my third run ever. <laughs> so, I'm still kind of learning how the game works. It's some kind of icon? What is that? It's like a stone mask. Uh, Randolph Embryos. Increase max energy point. Simple. Let's try out the Sonic Blade. I want to see if this one gets good. It seems pretty reliable. guys are getting beefy. I need to power up the weapons I have, or I'm going to end up just trapping myself. Hmm. Energy regain. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't, like, expecting to have, like, an elemental collection of weapons, but, uh, I kind of do. I think that one means a shrine is activated. That uh, icon up there on the top right. Um, I'll pop the lightning. Yeah, there's a limit to how many weapons you can have, but I've never come close to hitting that limit. I either die or <laughs> finish the run, as it were. So we're gonna kind of mosey on over to that shrine. Very numerous now. That is 
Yes. I'll take a power up, please. Imbue a heavy thorn. Many thorns now spawn on the hit. Also, noble truth. Let's try. I'll, I'll spend 75 coins on that. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that could that could be some nice domino effect. Worth that. Whoa, what's your deal? Fire helps us do these advancing crowds. Yeah, that broom is gone now. I guess I did only get that temporarily. I have the blacksmith. Minimal damage. Mystical spoon. Increase max stamina points. Let's, let's try this one. Yeah, that makes it a little bit bigger. A little more potent. Hi. Don't remember seeing you before. Wow, you just go through that like a champ, don't you? Projectiles. Projectiles are never good. Yep. Oh jeez, I just put myself in a corner. That's not smart. Oh jeez, he just tore the crap out of me. Okay, so if I take damage, I lose, like, whatever relic or thing that I have with me at the moment. So that's good to know. Yep. It's definitely damage-based. I wasn't sure if it was time or not. Yeah, certain... I know there are certain power-ups you can only get by having certain relic combinations. But I really only stumbled upon it, like, once, I think. Jeez. Oh, wow, the way he just plows through that really reduces its efficacy. Oh, yeah, bananas are the default health pickup, but I can't get it right now because he's kind of camping on it. Projectile size. Power up the fire. That's pretty handy. Double the damage. Oh no, this is a terrible place for this to happen. Good, those fast guys here just make my life that much more difficult. Mercy invincibility window is so short. Jeez. Almost gotten rid of that boss monster, at least. Because they've almost gotten rid of me. Yep. Beauty era of greed with a weapon. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, let's fall back for now. How much gold do I have? Blade Dancer. Curved sword from long range, simply deadly boomer range. 400 monsters using magic in a single run. The Zez Blaster to 9. Complete the first sand chaos 1. Okay, so these are largely things that you'll probably just do by try chance. This guy looks swole. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I guess I must have cleared the first one either by luck or just a really good combination of tools that I picked. Which is funny, given that I had no idea what tools I was picking. Okay, I guess he better range than the knight does, so that's cool. Flex. I don't know if health items are responding more frequently or if I just hadn't really noticed very much in that last run. In the other parts of the run, you're more dependent on just not taking a whole lot of damage. 
All right. Endless Pal. Chaos Axe. Furnado. Let's try the Furnado. Oh man, that is what a heck of a wind up. That spell is debatably useful. The upside is, you know, I have better range and can kind of control the crowd a little bit better. Oh, that cast time is just awful. Does a lot of damage, though. That's not bad. I can work with that. I don't know, something about, like, wind abilities in these games tend to be really good. Like, um... Spirit Horde. I really like the wind weapon in that game. If you power that one up a lot, you can like, cover the field in tornadoes. Uh, yeah, let's power up the... Power up the main weapon. Oh, yeah, we one-shotting guy. That's great. Doesn't there be some variant, so there's some, like, some chance that it could hit high or hit low? I've seen a couple things that offer the opportunity to raise minimum damage for weapons, but, like, the minimum can't exceed maximum for obvious reasons. Wouldn't really make sense if your damage range was, you know, 29-3. Yeah? Oh, what's that? A shield? Defense. Okay, yeah, no, I'll take that. I'll reduce the incoming damage of the next few things that hit me, which will be sooner than later if I'm not careful. Go, my weird little tornado demon thing. Can't tell if it's, like, targeting enemies or if it just goes its own way. Increases missile or effect speed of attack. Increases stamina point regeneration. Mm, no, we're gonna, we're gonna specialize and try to make this weapon better. So right now, it actually is like one of the better weapons I've gotten my hands on. The problem with a lot of the ranged weapons so far is that they're, they're relatively weak until you power them up a bit, so getting something really strong early on will probably make my life that much easier. My guy is just so busy flexing, like, he doesn't even care. He just like, whatever. F-L-E-X. It's actually, it kind of reminds me of, um, if you guys ever watched the Tabletop Sheep Bros talks, uh, we talked about Wolkenstein, the, the crazed wrestler who swore up and down he was a face, but acted like a heel constantly. <laughs> he was pretty legendary. I liked Wolkenstein. The Fernado Endless Paw. That's... Oh! That actually goes in the direction I'm dodging into. That's different from the other ones I've used. That could be good, though. That could actually, like, clear the path if I'm, like, dodging towards danger. That would actually give me a little more cover. So maybe this is actually a good arrangement. Looks like I can have two of those, two magic spells, and five relics, looks like. I'm a little distracted. I don't have time to... Whoa! You again! Uh... Health regen. You know what? Let's get a little health regen. I kind of want the Sonic Blade, but honestly, having a little bit of support might help me too. Especially if it's something that would give me health if I managed to take some damage and then I managed to avoid taking damage for a while after. Banana. I don't know why the health items are bananas, but you know what? I, I like bananas. Bananas are good. Lots of... is it potassium? I think it is. I'm feeling pretty confident in that assessment. I'll probably raise my movement speed if I get the opportunity to get something like that. Yeah, see, health, health regen is actually pretty smart. This, this is a good plan. This means, like, little mistakes won't, build, won't get the chance to build up over time. Whoops! <laughs> but my really dumb ones certainly will. Okay, this is going a little bit better than the last one, I think. Kind of feels like I have a little bit more control over the situation. What did he drop? It's like a dagger? Maybe that's an attack up. That'd be really good if I get my hands on it. 
which I absolutely want to do, but these guys are just not giving me a clear path. Ah! You're a jerk. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take plus 50% damage for literally nothing. Wait, did that heal the shield? Does healing actually re Oh, not again! Why do I keep being caught in the very sides like this? This is the worst! Curved Sword. Mystic Red Bone. Mystical Bone auto-targeting bounces after contact. Give it a shot. Oh, that could be good in situations like this. This might not be the worst case scenario after all. Like, if it bounces around, it could help me with this group situation, because everything is so close to me right now. I'm not, being able to, not used to being able to dodge in situations like this, so this is a little bit of a novelty that I'm working through. Plus, maybe if the bone hits the uh, outer ring a lot, maybe it'll free me sooner. I've got to be careful about when these things spawn in. Looks like it's at the five minute mark, maybe? Okay. Let's get away from there. Uh, Mask of Dimensions. Increases duration. Sonic Blade. I could stand to have another main weapon. So having some... That actually gave me a little bit more firepower. The downside to the boomerang sword is there is a little bit of a cooldown on it. This, I think, will help supplement it. Plus, I have kind of a swords thing going in. This guy is the blade dancer, so that makes sense. Oops. This is a really well-designed game. I'm actually very... Yeah, it does heal my items. That's an interesting, like, balance. Like, do you concern yourself with your own health, or do you concern that with your power-ups? Which, honestly, I'm kind of concerning with my power-ups, because they're really good power-ups. Nice. Might as well top off. I've played a lot of these games, and... Like, some of them are just really, really good and really take their own spin on things, and some of them are just, like, obvious cash grabs. But this one, this one's good. I like this. I'm having fun. I'm getting that, uh, sheer dopamine feeling. Says Blaster. You know, hero speed is kind of important. I am a little bit sluggish. I don't know, it might give me the opportunity to imbue uh, weapon with the relic quality. Dang it. Come on, one in there. Alright, you guys need to clear out. It's hard to really weaponize that one. That's more of a defensive maneuver. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that guy. Okay. Attack... Cooldown upgrade, damage up. Yeah, attack cooldown. That is the biggest issue this sword currently has. Oh yeah, this is so much better. Being able to, th to reliably use my boomerang attack much more is just such a difference. No, I thought each coin was one, but it's not. It's actually more than that. Increased time between attack. Yeah, that's a great idea. That should speed up the weapon speed for all weapons, right? Oh, yeah, this is so much nicer. Do not underestimate the leather glove. Why it's saying attack one to two, unless it's like 
one to minimum and then two to maximum. And something that explains that better would probably... Oh! Oh! And one to two means how many I'm shooting! I'm shooting two boomerang swords now. That does make better sense. Those fast guys will be the death of me. Yeah, this is going much better. Especially because I've been able to hold on to my power-ups for a while this time. Hmm. Ah! What I say is I just take unnecessary damage. Projectile speed, missile speed, speed of attacking, defend. Oh, it shows you what things it influences. This is area size or attack speed. No, let's do attack speed. That seems like it would be the smart play. I do not want to lose my cool attack up. No, not again! I've got to keep my eye on the timer. The upside is getting that bone actually did help. Uh, stamina point regeneration. Thunder. Yeah, curve sword. Well, there's my power up, so that's, that's bad. The one advantage I definitively had has just been taken away. there, guys. Come on, I gotta clear at least the 15-minute course. I'm not saying it's gonna be elegant or particularly you know, well played, but I have to at least manage that. All right. Uh, increases minimum damage. You know, that's not a bad idea. Increasing the minimum damage means I'm guaranteed hitting on a higher floor. Okay, good. I managed to heal off. Yeah, regeneration goes a long way. I think I've underestimated that in past runs. I thought it would be super slow, like you'd wait like, you know, five seconds for one HP kind of thing. But it seems like it's a little more efficient than that. Decreases time between attacks, yes. If you're attacking more often, you're doing more damage. Uh, that's just science. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I need to either power up my weapons or, oh gosh, this little one now. I've waited so long, but it started a family and it started to settle down. I think the tornado hurt a bit. Most of my weapons aren't that far ranged, though, and I'm, I'm running away a lot. I guess I haven't had the chance to really wail into it. No. Absolutely not. Oh, it's getting bigger now. Can't complain about that. Hitting more guys is exactly the kind of firepower I need. And those eyeball guys just kind of weird me out. They, they, they'll, like, rush you, and then they'll stop for a second, and just, like, chill out, and then they'll start chasing you again. And I'm like, oh gosh, that's really, really erratic behavior. Ooh, pile on me. Yes, please. This could be my t chance to get rid of that big guy. Ah, it's Stone Mask again. Seems to be a popular one. Okay. 
By the way, this is twin stick, so I'm actually controlling my uh, aim using the right stick, which is a very good feature. Games like this really need that. Yes, please. Oh gosh, that guy's fast. I don't like him at all. Upside is doing enough damage. Oh, good. The, the, the child is back for revenge for its fallen parent. Jeez. That cast time is crazy, but that tornado is efficient. There's no denying it. Try to max out my sword, see if I get anything for getting a maxed out weapon. Something I don't think I've tried yet. You know, I haven't really been to a shrine in a while. I think I could definitely have to at least a few. What, another mask? Can I get two of the same thing? Yeah, that seems like it's legit. There's something. Yeah, okay. It's been a while. Let's power up. Sonic Blade. Echo Back Attack. Sure. Oh, nice! Okay. I can work with that. Ooh, the shield. Nice. Happily take that again. for the privilege. Come on. Attack area. Attack. That's actually been, like, my least useful thing thus far. And I hate to complain about it, because, like, it is neat, but that's, that's not very useful for what I'm... Oh, the boss is coming! Whoa! That dude's fast! I've only fought this guy, like, once before, and I probably won via dumb luck. So, oh, I got four of those things now. I really am a juggler. Let's grab this, reinforce my items. Oh, I really wish I still had that attack power-up. The knife or the sword or whatever it's supposed to be. Time wasn't so long. And I'm doing good damage to him. There's no doubt about that. Just I like, really gotta make sure he doesn't return the favor. No. Uh. Hi. A little busy here. He doesn't always zero in on me. Sometimes he just tries to close the distance if I get too far away. Ah! And sometimes he just does that. The upside is I'm making the most of the shield. Also trying to get all the money before I lose it. Whew! View weapon, eye of blacksmith, a grade curse, sword to level 9. Okay, so you do get something for that. So, that's cool. Yeah, the secret weapon was not that good this time, so let's fall back. Oh, now I have both characters flying around the screen. That's funny. So, let's see what we can upgrade. I should have some money. Um, walk casting, please. Walk casting. <laughs> Banana mastery. Put a point in the there. These games make you grind so much, but I love playing them. Yeah, put in health regeneration is shockingly good. So, um, increase max stamina, increase max energy, increase max health. That way we have at least a suite of, yeah, reduce. All right, we have a 
basic suite of powers. Oops. Okay, I can pop and return at any time. That's good to know. So, what does it take to get these? Yeah, I'm not two of them yet. Okay, we're gonna try one more run. And we're gonna try uh, Chaos Level 2. What? Um, found a bug! <laughs> okay, I guess I won't be going on. Okay, bug aside, uh, Soul Saga is really good. I'm really enjoying it so far. I uh, plan to keep playing further, and maybe we'll revisit this one in the future. So thanks for joining me, and link, as always, is in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.